In this video, I'm going to show you how to make simple, inexpensive, Swedish style shelving using construction lumber. This is a perfect project if you want deeper shelving than a 1x12 will allow, but you don't want to deal with plywood construction. This project is also easy to customize and fun to make. This project is so easy to make. You just take 2x4s and screw 1x3 legs to the ends to make the leg supports. You'll want a leg support every 3 feet or less to adequately support the shelving. Then you just place your shelving on top and screw it down. I do the two outside shelving pieces first and then I just cut the remaining center piece last. Finally, cross bracing at the back gives the shelving structure. Super simple. To make this project, you'll need a speed square, tape measure, wood screws, a drill, and a saw to cut your lumber with. You'll also need 1x3s, 2x4s, and 1x4s for shelving. I marked my 1x3 legs 3 quarter inches down from the top and screwed a 2x4 shelf support to the leg. This gives enough room at the top for the top shelving. Then I measured and marked for the middle and bottom shelf supports and attached with screws. I'm using 2 inch self tapping wood screws with torque heads. After building the leg set, I got smarter and marked all my 1x3 legs at the same time. The X is where the shelf goes. I started screws into the legs first and then attached to the shelf supports. Things started going a lot faster this way, especially since I had 8 of the leg sets to make. Once my leg sets were done, I started adding shelving. I screwed the shelving to the shelf support starting with the two outside shelving pieces. You'll notice I'm actually using 1x6s. I did modify the plans for a deeper shelf. Then I added the center shelf board last, leaving an even gap on either side. One last final step is to add cross bracing to keep the shelf from racking. I just had 1x2 scraps, so I screwed to backs at angles. It wasn't 10 minutes after I moved these shelves into the playroom that they were being filled up with my daughter's arts and crafts, supplies and toys, and there's even quite a bit of shelving space left over. We love the shelving and have used modified versions to make closet shelving and garage shelving, so check out those videos too. Thanks so much for watching.